We start with News for Jacks reporter Corley Peel, who has been talking with a passenger who was headed home to Texas, Corley. Many of the passengers I've spoken with say they feel lucky to be alive. Dar baby coming through, baby coming through. Video of passengers in life jackets clearing a dock to make room for a baby that was rescued from the plane. I spoke with another man on the plane named Tyler Hall, and he said despite the chaos, everyone on the plane put their fears aside to make sure they all got off safe. Before Tyler Hall made it back home to his pregnant wife and son in Texas, he was being rescued from this plane. As the plane approached the runway, Hall says he braced himself for a bumpy landing. When we were coming in, it felt like we were coming a little fast, and then we hit the runway, it felt like we skipped, and then we did, it, it was like we never slowed down. Uh, we, we continued going, and I felt, I felt like we were running out of runway pretty quick. I knew the runway was pretty short. And when we hit the ground, I, or when we got close to the end, I, I felt like we were probably going to not have a good ending. Once the plane landed in the St. John's River, Hall says water came through the roof of the cabin and he got soaked. Hall then noticed paramedics rushing through the aisle to help a man who was injured. And there was a bunch of people in the aisle just told him to said, hey, there's a medic coming through, move out of the way. And, and people people obliged they move out of the way let the medic and then you know help help out and I, I guess the guy it turned out was actually my father that was the wounded one so once he got off the plane hall checked on his father once we got everybody out and i, I poked my head back in and just asked i said hey there was a older gentleman that was sitting in in right there in 13f and i was just checking to see if if he was all right and so i said yeah he's helping get paid to get people off uh so he was definitely putting himself before before anybody else. He says a plane full of strangers instantly became a team with a mission. What could have been a tragedy turned out to be just an absolute uh, coming together of, of a bunch of fine folk. Hall says he feels blessed to have been surrounded by a selfless group of people who helped him get back home to his family. says his father did receive a cut on his forehead and to get several stitches after the incident, but he says he is home and is doing okay. Reporting live from NAS Jax, Corley PL Channel 4, the local station. Corley, did Hall tell you anything about the pilot, whether or not he heard the pilot say anything or do anything? Hall tells me that the pilot didn't give any, did not give any warning, but he says people could clearly tell that something was wrong because the plane was not slowing down on the runway. Corley Field joining us live. Thank you, Corley.